wait, 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 wait. Did they just say, Favora? Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 3 of Rage of Bahamut Virgin Soul. And this episode was great once again. After reading your comments, a lot of you seem to immediately like Virgin Soul way more than Genesis. And I'm surprised. I, I felt like that, you know, we still have a little more ways to go to start comparing the two. But uh, whatevs, I'm glad everyone's enjoying it because I know I am. I forgot that the humans are also against the gods at this point. So when the gods found out that the Holy Child is still around they're all like oh man we gotta we gotta find the holy child and and bring and, and bring it to us so that the humans can have faith in us once again so one of the gods went down to the capital and talked to back batches back batches batches and talked to our favorite drunken god saying that if he finds the holy child to bring him to the gods and that they will consider letting him back into heaven. And I completely ignored this. I was just like, wait, 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 wait. Why is Bacchus in the human world in the first place? I never thought of that at all. And turns out he was exiled. And of course, him on his drunken ass, he says, hey, I wasn't exiled. I left there on my own will. But uh, obviously, you know, he was exiled. But why? Huh. And, you know, he's actually considering this too. So... He wants to go back into heaven, but why was he kicked out in the first place? We see that Azazel is quite fond of the Holy Child. I mean, after Azazel was killing a bunch of humans, the Holy Child was still around. We don't know if the Holy Child was just spared from Azazel or if the Holy Child was injured, but just still lived. But Azazel was just fond of the Holy Child and seems to be his motivation. So that was... That was kind of cute. It made us all seem a little bit human. I, I quite like that. So we have this awesome segment where Nina is arm wrestling a bunch of these buff dudes. And I'm just like, Nina, my girl, look at you. I freaking love her, man. Honestly, she's just going higher and higher in the best girl rankings of the season. And now that I think about it, she probably is my best girl of the season, but it's still too early to say there's, you know, this is only episode three. A lot of anime are only on episode two or three, so we still got a lot to go. But uh, Nina, definitely like in the top three, no doubt. And she goes to wrestle this one guy who I'm pretty sure is Chedios. He looks a lot like Chedios. And uh, like with the color eyes, the hair, and the fact that he has the, the royal emblem. So it's most likely uh, Cherios. But why was he there in the first place? Most likely to see what the townspeople is like, see if you can find more information on the rag demon. But if you've seen the second trailer, then you know how big of a role that whole scene plays. Because, oh boy, that's not going to be good. After that, we have a dinner scene where Rita prepares a bunch of food for everyone and just Rita's commentary is just gold as always. I, I love her so incredibly much. And we find out that Nina was trained to be a bounty hunter and her teacher was Favaro. How did this come to be? Her teacher's Favaro, what the fuck? How'd they meet? What, what the hell? my shit like honestly when Nina was describing you know how she became a bounty hunter and how her instructor told her to go find a god named Bacchus over at the capital and stuff I was just like huh you know this actually could be Favaro I think it's Favaro and then she she says it and I was like what like I mean I had a good feeling but it was still just so shocking to hear like wow okay so uh, her, t her sensei was Favaro, huh. It's actually hilarious though, because he actually gave her a fake, like, bounty hunter, like, bracelet and stuff. And I'm just like, Favaro, why are you like this? Chedio's doing more dirty deeds as always. This time, going to just kill a bunch of demons till the rag demon shows himself. And now, Azazel and Chedios are going to have a full-out brawl. So I'm very excited to see that, man. Oh boy, this, the episodes just keep on getting better and better. I love the pacing of it, uh, learning more about the world and stuff. It's just, it's great. It's a great way to do a sequel. And I'm just still surprised that it's already confirmed for 24 episodes. So you know the creators have so many ideas. <laughs> like, wow. So catch me later as I live react to the King's Avatar. I'm your female Ataku. Sayonara.